All right, a guy named Chance Bogardus asks us or tells us, what are some recommendations on YouTube channels that y'all watch? What are some channels that like we watch, Mikey, that you know that I wouldn't know you would watch or that's not the obvious? Okay. Don't give me your PewDiePie or your T-Series that I know you watch all the time. Give me, I know, that was well, your those two. are my answers. Yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, no, okay, so the channel that you'll probably be surprised that I actually watch okay. is GameSec. Oh, yeah, Joe and, well, I watch Game not Sack Joe and Dave I anymore, but yes. I actually watch them a lot. <laughs> like, you'd be surprised, like, how much I watch them. Like, when I'm just, like, editing, yeah. I'll just, like, throw them on because I like to see, like, the footage of the games and everything. And and they're really, like, well-spoken. Very. And I'm pretty sure, like, some people are surprised. They're like, games? Like, really? You? And they know their stuff. <laughs> I think that's, uh, I think it's important because you can listen to them talk and uh, it just goes and goes, whether it's Joe or Dave. And now, obviously, we lost one of the members, but the show's still going, which is still great. Uh, GameSack is, uh, has always been like a really good uh, intelligence place for me to go to with games and feel like that's where I learned a lot too yeah like games I feel like I learn a lot but they also have like a, a wit to them you know yeah. like a little bit of wittiness and you're like uh, uh, total dad jokes too <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah super dad jokes that's what I was gonna say but I enjoy them a lot and the other one I watch a lot well I'm actually really spread out so I'm just gonna name a few I'm okay. gonna name a few okay. I'm sorry okay. about this but another one I watch is actually DeFranco Okay, yeah, I know you watch. Um, there was some controversy with him though recently. Like really? pretty big deal controversy. So be careful what you say now. I think it was like a really big deal. Really? Like I think he was basically lying to the internet and he got in trouble. I don't know. I, I just saw a headline from someone that I watch, which I will actually name. But Oh, yeah. uh, okay. Um well I haven't seen that, but um I was about to say like the reason I actually like to watch his channel is because like he talks about like new stuff, like political stuff, but then he talks about like YouTube stuff and gaming stuff. He talks about everything, but when he's being biased, he tells you. Like first he tells you the facts and then he says, but in my opinion, yeah. I feel that this and that and that and that, and then I want to hear yours. And then he always tells people that like even if you have like different opinions, you know, it's okay, we can still get along yeah, yeah, and everything. Yeah. So that's why I enjoy his channel because he tells you when he's being biased. Okay. <laughs> and then the other one that um, I feel like I get my, uh, like my personality from in terms of YouTube videos. Oh, I know who you're gonna say. Dashy. Dashy. <laughs> Dashy Games, he's always been like a channel I've always watched. <laughs> And I think that's why I'm so loud. I remember when you introduced me to him. I was like, oh my gosh, this guy's dumber than I am. Which is, a, <laughs> I mean that in a good way. In a good way. Just seeing so on the show, we consider dumbness like a high thing, like a high Ooh. regard. We <laughs> really do. Thank you. Because yeah. <laughs> we're just goofy and loud, and that's kind of yes. how you are. So I feel like I get like a little bit of my personality on YouTube from, from Dashy. Because yeah. he's so loud and dumb, and he just doesn't care. And that's how I want to be, and that's how I am. All right, I got I got three. Uh, I don't think you're gonna know who almost any of them hey, are. Hey, don't sleep on me. <laughs> All right, there's one called uh, Chase After the Right Price. He's a okay. smaller YouTuber, a guy named Chase. But uh, I love I love his content. He's a big time garage sale type guy. Mm -hmm. But he's one of those guys where every video you're like, how he fills his van basically every week with stuff to the brim. He's you think Ricky has an addiction, but he also does this for a living. Is buys and sells. Not an addiction then. He does. A, he a shows job. a lot of like the Amazon side of it and like selling stuff and how okay. he does it and whatnot. He's just a nice guy. He has like a, a baby face for sure. Oh. He's a little, <laughs> little cute happy man. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the next one is Davey five hundred four, which you might not. Okay, you might know. You might know who he is when I mention it. Okay. He's the one who played B Lasagna on the bass in front of T series. Oh really? Yeah. You said not to talk about PewDiePie. <laughs> oh, <dang it. laughs> no, so uh, Davey504 is a bass channel. Uh, he is extremely good at the bass, but he's also very aware of like memes and being funny. He does like bass meme covers. Flapping the bass? Yeah, he's a, he's a okay. very silly, lighthearted uh, YouTuber when it comes to his style. He started doing like a meme review type thing that he calls totally original. And, uh, <laughs> and then, um, and then like uh, like the last that. one I watch is a guy named The Quartering, a guy named Jeremy. And his channel is pretty big now. But he's like, I've heard of it. he's kind, he's video games and media related and, and movie related, but he, a, a little bit of politics, I won't go into it too much. He's very uh, open, he doesn't have any hate towards anybody, but he also doesn't like certain agendas and whatnot. So I, I listen right. to him as well. So Check yeah, that's our channels. What are, what are your channels? Oh, another channel, Boole Heroes. Ooh, the quality, I'm sorry, I'm sorry I did that. I remember that. I unsubscribed a few weeks ago. They offended me. <laughs> I subscribed though again because Dang. I had the login. <laughs> Darn it! <laughs>
The interesting thing about Stranger Things is it has become a cultural phenomenon. Yeah. And what makes it even more interesting is it's a cultural phenomenon about a different culture and time. That's what's interesting. It's not like oh, it's yeah, the culture true. of nowadays. It's the culture of the 80s. Yeah. Mikey, Stranger Things season three, that's what I want to talk about. I personally believe this season threw me on some of, and I admit season two, I was kind of <laughs> like, eh. But it threw me on the gnarliest emotional roller coasters of anxiety, of being fearful of what's going on, yeah. of emotions, of wanting to get answers, yeah. of friendship, of bonding. Everything, and, huh? Well, what it is too is I think the reason this show has such power as far as like making you feel these emotions so strong is that they're kids and they're young. Mm. So even if you're not a dad like yourself, there's always a little bit of protection involved when it's kids. That's or a little true. bit more That's like true. when you see a kid in pain or something, it's like a little bit more like, oh, like, ah, I wish I could help. Like, mm -hmm. oh, that's a kid. Like, I don't, like when I admit, when I see Elle cry, bro, it kills me. Bro, I just watched it again last night. The last night, episode? And I oh. cried like a, oh. A spoiler. Oh you can my put it God. before. You can put it before. Oh yeah, completely forget. See, I was thinking about that yesterday Woo. too. Spoiler alert, spoiler alert. No, you, he already put it before the video. <laughs> All, right. All right, go ahead, tell me about the last episode or your thoughts. Okay, so, well first I wanna say this is my favorite season of, of the three. Oh, and before, by the way, before we forget, Dallin Verhaga is the one who told us to ask us What's the last this. name, let me say it right. Is that, yeah. get, get to that brown flavor. Uh, oh wait, that is not brown. <laughs> that is not brown. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, so I wanna say that, um, this season was my favorite season of the yeah, three. So good. By yeah. far though. But like not like a little bit like, oh I, I kinda like this. No, by a lot. Yeah, it was uh, wonderful, man. I thought that Billy did a hell of a job. He was my favorite character. I, like I feel like he made like this season that much better. And and of course Eleven was amazing. She was super she, overpowered for like a little bit. Like yeah, she was man. and her I whoop, feel like she, her like a Marvel character. <laughs> her emotions, man, are so on key. Like some people are like, oh, they're a strong crier or they have strong features when it comes to uh, you know, being mad or being yeah. sad. I feel like she plays all of her parts, Millie Bobby Brown, so well. She really did. She really did. Because yesterday I watched the uh, like the last episode one more time. Because I watched it. But when I was watching it, uh, like it was like one in the morning. Yeah, kind of like get sleepy. Refresh, yeah. I think I fell asleep for like a little bit. <laughs> so yesterday I watched it again, and bro, I haven't cried that much in a while. Yeah, like dude. I had like four tears. Like, All right, did you cry more when she found out Hopper passed, or when she was reading? When the letter? she was reading the letter, that's yeah. what got also, me. Also, that letter, whoever wrote that letter, which writer, that was a beautifully written letter. I was like, man, that is like... I'm getting chills right now thinking about yeah, it for some reason. That's the definition of a letter that every dad who has that, like, um... You know, that sense of not being able to, like, touch with your, like, your your, your heart, how you really yeah. feel? That's how, like, it's done. Like, man, you try to start out away and you're like, here's how I feel. You want to know the funny thing? What? I wrote a letter to my kids that night. Really? And I asked my wife. I put it on the table. I might, I might even have it and maybe I can show you. Yeah? You know, put it in the video or something. Oh. Yeah. I was like, so cute. Get the best <laughs> thing ever. <You> know? <laughs> no, and I think it even hits people. I mean, like for me, like it made me cry. Well, I might get like a little bit personal right here, but oh, uh, uh, like for me, it made me cry because like I've lost somebody close to me like before. Got it. So that's where it takes you. Oh, you know? for sure, man. Like, oh, no, like especially if you lost somebody like super close to you. In your imagine, family. imagine if you lost your dad. Exactly. And you See, watch this, it's like, yeah, oh, like, shoot, you know. Yeah, like with uh -huh. me, like you know, unfortunately, I lost my sister. Oh, like years ago, but that's where it took me though. Yeah, like that's dude. how deep the scene yeah. was. Where like I started thinking of that, and and dude, I started bawling. I was crying. Were you watching it so alone? Much. Yeah, I was watching. See, it. I watched it. If I was watching it with my girl, you know, I would have held back. Instead of four tears, would have been like, oh, bro, you let it half out. a tear. Yeah. <laughs> I uh, I watched it with my buddy Andy, and and he knows I get emotional and stuff. Ever since becoming a dad, I've been like a different person as far as being <laughs> emotional. And it's for me, it started. I, I, those scenes in movies always get me where like someone's looking for someone mm -hmm. and they, they they're not there. As mm -hmm. soon as it showed L like get up and like go like this, I, Andy heard me out loud. I was like, oh, shoot, dude, I don't want to. Uh, I, I don't like, want to pause I, it. I, was like, I, I can't do this right now, dude. I don't want to do this to, to my soul. But uh, she played it so well, man. Her face expression when she did it. Uh, let me look up some other points. Oh, bro. This guy made me smile more than anything, and it's the most mad I've been when somebody died. Alexi. When he was holding uh, that Woody Woodpecker, bro, he was the happiest guy on earth. 
It was. It was like oh. the American dream. For yeah. Him. Like I'm at a fair. <laughs> I just won Woody Woodpecker, and I love when the dude looks at him and he's like, he's like, oh, ha, 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 and he's like funny, and then he's just like, Psst, when the balloon pops. And then they got him. Yeah, he was awesome. Fool just wanted to have fun and, and wanted a cherry Slurpee. That's, That's all he wanted that's in life, bro. Wanted. That's all he wanted in and life. And he got his strawberry one effort. Um, how did you feel? <laughs> how you feel about Robin, the new character, the Scoops Ahoy girl? She was cool. Um, all the new characters were were awesome. Like honestly, I feel like the cast did a hell of a job. Like yeah. you can see their growth in acting too. For sure. Like a lot. Like uh, like not saying that they were not good before. Erica, but, but, she was great. But they were just over the top, yeah. like good now. But how? Oh my God, Hopper is so dope. Hopper's I, cool. I was thinking about it like last night when I was watching the last episode and he's just a beast. He was so cool. And honestly, my hope is that they all get like casted into a Marvel movie. Which actually... <laughs> <laughs> no, see what I'm saying now, look. See, I was thinking that, but Eleven just got casted. Uh, for a so Marvel movie. No, uh, nah, we don't know yet, but it's gonna be for the Eternals movie. Just straight up as Eleven. <laughs> a new <laughs> character! <laughs> new challenger yeah. approaches. <laughs> um, I was gonna say with Robin, I didn't know she was uh, Ethan Hawke's daughter. Really? Yeah, I didn't know this. So uh, I, I, I liked her a lot. I think she did a really good job. Um, you know what? You know what she played really well. And I know this sounds really dumb. In scenes where people pretend they're drugged up, normally it's a funny <laughs> thing. I normally hate the way they act. Yeah. I'm normally like, I can always they, tell. They're fake. Tell. It's stupid. Like with like you know movies where everyone's high and stuff. I'm mm -hmm. like. It just is unbelievable <laughs> to me. Her and Steve did such a good job. Yeah, I feel like I was like, them. wow, this is believable. They're funny. Their mannerisms. It seemed, maybe they really were. <laughs> I don't know. I think they I were. I don't know what they did. but They, they were dedicated to the role. They did a great job. So Robin, I liked Erica, um, you know, the little girl who yeah, was really he, sassy. She was really sassy. Like at first, like she kind of came off too strong to me. Yeah, yeah. But then I was like, nah, But that's her like, vibe. That's her vibe, yeah. That's what I'm saying, you know, it's just her personality. And, and I watched and I like a video um, after of like the, you know, the cast, like behind the scenes. She is the most polite little girl you've Oh, ever really? Seen. Yeah, she's like, oh, uh, I'm so sorry, excuse me, like so oh, sweet. Oh, I kind of want to see that. Yeah, now. I was like, oh, that's sweet. <laughs> oh, look at you. <laughs> um, another thing I wrote is Steve embracing his true self, which I think was really cool when Steve was, you know, expressing his feelings towards Robin in the bathroom mm -hmm. before knowing that she wasn't straight. <laughs> <laughs> I think like Steve finally started to be like okay with himself. Like maybe I'm a little bit of a dork, and maybe I am okay to be Except this. It. You know, you know who it is, bro. That's you right there. That's me. Mr. Honestly? Mr. Alpha male, and now I, I, when I know Mike, <laughs> when I first met Mike, he was a little more alpha male. Like, yo, what's up, like college boy? And I was like, I play video games, bro. And I saw Mike. Nerd. I really did see like a gradual thing in Mikey to where you've always like been a certain way, but you kind of like opened yourself up to being that way. I have over more. 250 pops now. Since I've, met you, since I've met you. Yeah, that's true though. Because like before, uh, like I used to be like a club promoter in Hollywood. I used to like party a lot and all that. But then, you know, like I started working there and and like it kind of brought me back to when I used to collect because I used to collect, believe yeah, it or yeah. not. Um, but the reason I stopped collecting was because I had a whole collection of X-Men cards. And then my cousin was moving to New York and I was like really affected. I was like, oh, no, he's gonna leave. I'm gonna give him something. I gave him my oh, whole collection. Nice. The only collection I had well, of cards, I gave it to him. I like how in the end of the show, too, uh, Will gives his D&D &D, uh, games to uh, Erica. And yeah, she yeah. kind of opens it like, okay, like, maybe. See, when you're emotional, you just give stuff yeah, like that. Maybe I will, you know? And I'm not gonna lie, a few times I thought back and I was like, I shouldn't have done that, you know? I would've still had my cool cards. Life goes But then again, like, that's how I thought at the moment, so it's cool. Yeah. And, see, and and then like once you, uh, like once we made that trade with the Pops, yeah. like where we traded like all the games for like the Stranger Things Pops, that's what really started like my my collection because I started seeing a bunch of them there and I'm like. Speaking of Stranger Things. They look lonely. Yes. Stranger Things, full uh, circle. <laughs> another thing I noticed a lot in Stranger Things season three is there was a lot of references to um, Jurassic Park, with um, the oh, kid, yeah, was. the kids hiding behind while the the giant demog no the giant uh, the flare was flare, looking for yeah. them and they're like behind. Remind me of the kitchen scene uh, when the flare was chasing them in the vehicle and they were in the vehicle and they could see it. Behind oh them. yeah, that's, like, true. that's is, true. That's yeah, I didn't even think about that. But yeah. I did. I mean, Andy were like Jurassic Park, Jurassic Park, Jurassic Park. <laughs> yeah, so they got it from for sure. Uh, okay. Uh, another thing is the family moved out of Hawkins. I, I, I watched. See, that's what leaves it open. Well, I watched like, an interview always... with the Duffer Brothers, which was the creators of the show, which was scary yet exciting because they said, as someone who believes this is one of the best things I've ever watched in television, mm -hmm. they said it's <laughs> going to be very different from this season. And I was like, ah, yeah, but I love this season. 
Well, I don't know. I mean, they said that's why they're moving out of Hawkins because they don't want to pigeonhole themselves into it. We can only tell a story in Hawkins. Maybe they're going to like a big city now. <laughs> Coming to oh, California. Yeah. Coming to Los Angeles. <laughs> We're going to Hollywood. <laughs> Instead of Hopper, Hopper being in the upside down, he just like has like sunglasses. Yeah. Like, what up, yeah. bro? I'm in Huntington Beach now. <laughs> <laughs> so cheesy. So much cringe. <laughs> okay, speaking of Hopper, this is the big part, and obviously we don't have to go too much into it. I, I and I'm sure most people don't think that Hopper is actually dead. Yeah. Um, for me, the biggest selling points were um, not only when Hopper, you know, when he looked at Joyce and kind of gave her like the go ahead with tears in his eyes. Before he does that, he's literally looking at the gate and he's just like, like, I have an opening. And then also when they do the wide shot, there's a ladder for Hopper down there and everything. But I don't personally believe the American at the end, you know, they refer to there's yeah. the American, not the American, whatever he said, don't take the American. Yeah. I don't think that's Hopper in there. I think Hopper is in the Upside Down. I think in there, in the jail cell, is probably Brenner, which is the guy that basically worked with Eleven with the white hair, you know, the guy in season one. Where were, oh, uh, like, where would they have gotten him, though? I don't know. Brenner ended with a Demogorgon jumping on him, but then they cut the scene. And the Duffer brothers in interviews have said, like, oh, Brenner, oh. Brenner could be alive. Brenner could be alive. Cause for Maybe like that's the same, like, monster that jumped on him is the one from the last scene. Maybe they grabbed him right, because that's what happened. The Demogorgon jumped on him, and then they cut scene. For all you know, a, a guard could have went, <laughs> shot him yeah. off, and Brenner got away. And the Duffer brothers have said before in interviews, Brenner's not dead. Oh, okay, see, I didn't know that. Yeah, why would they say Brenner's not dead? And I think- Ooh, the, that'd be a nice twist. And I that'd think the nice American twist. being in the jail would be too obvious as Hopper. Like, everybody thought that. Who didn't think, oh, that's everyone. Honestly, the second time I watched it, I was like, maybe it is Hopper. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, and you don't see Hopper's body actually disintegrate like everybody Yeah, that was like is. the main thing I heard, too. Yeah. They're like, you know, like, they showed everybody dying except Hopper. Let me see one more of my points. I think I got another point. Uh, oh, I said I was sad because Hopper, he, I hope he gets his date that he booked with Joyce. I'm oh, hoping he gets See, that's what made me sad, too. I was like, he's not going to get his date. <laughs> yeah. That, that's pretty much all I got for season three, actually. Like you said, the performances were just were just amazing, outstanding. Yeah. Everybody kind of stepped it up a notch. Seeing the kids grow up is a, a bittersweet thing. You know, I love seeing them as little kids playing D&D in the room. But yeah. uh, another thing is uh, you, you see them grow up. You know, you see them... You see them see that? Oh, Except See, Will. He just wanted to play Dungeons and Dragons, guys. Let him play. Poor Will. He, Can we like, like play Dungeons and Dragons already? He just wants to be a magician. <laughs> <laughs> Will the Wise, call me by my name. That's actually a pop. Will the Wise? Will the Wise. Wow. <laughs> no, but, okay, so, like, just to, like, add on to that, like, just because I heard this, like, last week, Kay. and it makes a lot of sense. Okay. So, like, the Avengers movie, right? Yes. Has, like, a bunch of older heroes. Yes. Right? So in Japan, the movie didn't do as well. It, like, there's actually like a few anime movies that did better than it when they premiered. I didn't know that. And I was like, why is that? You know, and I watched the video of, of what they think it is. So with animes, like all the characters always start off young. They, they start off like little kids, like Goku, oh, little kid Goku, like, uh, like let's say they, like a new anime is like My Hero Academia, Got like it. you start off with a young Deku. So people in Japan, they like to see like the growth of a character. A, you're, you're attached to him. Because you get attached to yeah, him too, bro. and they just like to see, you know, like the like the little kid, like just going through adversity <laughs> maybe, and everything. Maybe that's why The Simpsons are the longest running anime series, because there's a kid, <laughs> and we never saw him grow up. They're like, We're, they're going to grow up soon, we'll watch him grow up. They're never growing up. They're just staying kids. You know? But that's why I think Stranger Things is doing so well because yeah. they're actually implementing that with the Americans out here. And you know what I'm gonna say it is though? What? It's retro, bro. And, and the retro. So it's like a mixture of everything. Yes. Because we like to see them improve. We like to see them learn and, and go through adversity and, and just go through all that. And then you can know, eventually like season five or six, they're gonna be adults. If there's a season five I, or six, but there, I think, I think, I think they, that's cool I though. I think they originally think. said they signed on for eight or something oh. recently. Imagine how old they're gonna be by then. Hey, be all watch right. out, it's a Demogorgon. <laughs> hey, get him, Will! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. But all right, just wanna throw that in there. <laughs>